welcome. Today, using an old pillow, pin, scissors, and a t-shirt, we're going to be making a t-shirt pillowcase. To make my t-shirt pillowcase, I'm going to cut off the sleeves off either side of my t-shirt as well as the collar off the top. I'm going to make sure I leave a little bit of room to keep the design on the front. So I got a measuring board here because my pillow that I'm using is 24 inches by 18 inches. So I'm just measuring to see how big the pillowcase will be, as well as see if the whole design would fit on the front of my pillowcase, which it looks like it will. The only other part to this is that since I'm not using a zipper, I need to keep a little extra fabric at the bottom to act as a sleeve for the pillowcase. So I'm gonna be cutting that off, cutting around six to seven inches of that fabric from my main t-shirt so that I have what I can use for the sleeve. So as you see here, I have the main portion of my t-shirt with the back panel as well. And then at the bottom, I have this extra piece of fabric. And when I refer to the sleeve, hopefully it'll make sense in a second what I'm referring to, but this is how we are going to add that like no zipper effect. For this extra piece of fabric, since it was a t-shirt, the bottom was already sewn. So I'm just gonna be flipping this up and we will kind of talk a little bit about this, how to use this later. So now we have the main part of our pillowcase as well as the back panel for it. So this is what the back looks like. And then what I'm gonna be doing is lining up this back panel with this little sleeve piece, what I'm referring to. So I have the right sides together now of both the front and the back of my t-shirt. And then with this back, what I've done is I've lined it up so that that little sleeve piece where I can now kind of put my hand in, this is where the pillow will be kind of, the pillow form will be going into. So as you can see, I have folded over the edge of that back panel so that the edge looks like it would be a nice clean seam. So we're gonna be taking a seam right across here and I'm going to go through and pin that up so that there is no longer a raw edge. So here is the wrong side of that back piece of fabric. So what I've done is actually just fold it over that edge twice and then I'm going to pin this all the way across so that I can take a seam right through there and I will no longer have that raw edge. And now it's time to take the seam. So now you can see that we have this nice seam all the way across, so there's no longer a raw edge. We don't have to worry about any fraying of the fabric. So we're gonna kind of bring this down. And now what we have is that other panel, so that smaller piece of fabric that we showed earlier. I'm lining this up, so the back panel, as well as that extra piece of fabric, with that front panel. So we want them to be the same height, but to have a little extra room at the bottom so that you have that ability to slide the pillow form underneath. So now I'm just gonna kind of baste either side so that the two pieces of fabric stay in place for the back panel. I am gonna pin this to make it easier for myself so that it's not slipping when I take that little base seam right across on either side. So now that the seams are complete, we have both pieces of fabric are now intact for the back piece, and then we have no raw edges either, so when you're taking the pillow form in and out, you're not going to have to worry about the fabric fraying. Now we're going to put the right sides together of the front and the back and just flip this over, and we're going to pin all the way around. So now that it is pinned, I can go ahead and take that seam all the way around my pillowcase. Since we do have that back pocket, that little panel, we do not have to worry about leaving a gap when we take the seam as we'll be able to turn the pillowcase right side out using that hole in the back. So now it is all sewn up, what I'm going to do is trim off the extra fabric around the edges as well as trim the corner so that it is easier to turn right side out. And here is my completed pillowcase. So it was very easy to turn. You can see the edges look very nice and the corners look nice as well. And then on the back, you can see the main image that was back there, but we also have this really nice 
pocket at the bottom so we can easily slide in our pillow and the pillow will be able to stay in there. We won't worry about the pillow falling out and there is no raw edges, so no fraying. Now let's put it on the pillow. So in this case, it turned out really well. The t-shirt fabric allows for a little stretch and give. So it fits really nicely on the pillow. You could use definitely different sizes of pillows and you would get the same effect. On the back, you can see that little pocket at the bottom, but it works really well because you have that red overlap. So if it's not really, you can see the pillow itself. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more, be sure to like and subscribe.